In the documentary film Food, Inc., BPI allowed the filmmakers inside to take a look at what they do. When founder Eldon Roth was discussing the use of ammonia in their facility, the filmmakers chose to show this image. In the video, there's a large porthole with a lot of water splashing behind it in the light. And that is a picture into our refrigeration system for cleaning the air in the plant. The water that you see in that picture is the water that we use to clean the air. Um, that's not ammonia, and that's not anything that's in our product. Near the end of the BPI section of the film, text appears over a shot of the beef in a shipping carton. Quote, the finished product, hamburger meat filler that's been cleansed with ammonia to kill E. coli. End quote. We know the cleansed with ammonia depiction was wrong, so what about hamburger meat filler? Well, first off, BPI's product is not filler. BPI's product is, in fact, lean beef. It, it is 95% lean beef. When the production crew visited BPI, they were given an all-access tour by the founder of the company, the man behind the entire operation. He answered their questions, shared what BPI does, and why they do it. Eldon's always been very open about letting people come in because he's, you know, I mean, he has nothing to hide. He's very proud of, of what he's put together and, and the technology that he's implemented uh, and the contribution that he's made to, to improving the safety of, of beef. So, of course, he'd want people to come in. Uh, but to come in like that and, and, and utilize, you know, listen to what he's telling them, but with obviously a, a, a hidden agenda, uh, is, is a really deceptive thing to do. People like those that created Food, Inc. have a certain objective in mind, and it's an objective that I think more consumers should be aware of to understand the context of the information that they're providing and the manner in which they're providing it. It's disheartening to see how they portrayed the plant, because again, I've been in the plant, and I had a very good experience in what I saw in terms of the assurance that I felt I needed as a mother, as someone who was also a policymaker at one time, for what we have to do and who's leading the industry in a way that is good for what agriculture has to produce. A butcher cuts a lot of meat every day, and he's unable to cost-effectively or efficiently remove all of the lean meat from the fat. So we've developed a very safe and efficient way to remove lean meat from fat. What BPI has done is taken a process so that even more of the animal can be utilized, that nothing goes to waste. E. coli 0157H7 is one of the most deadly pathogens that we deal with today. It's a real problem in the entire food industry that we all need to work together to combat. And everything in the plant has been built uh, to enhance sanitation and you know it's all stainless steel it's it's extremely clean I mean to see how much they've engineered safety and sanitation into the whole process it's a magnificent facility we have an image problem in chemistry to be sure what we do is mix up chemicals and those chemicals are synonymous with toxins. Ammonia, it has changed our history. Ammonia can be used as fertilizer. It allows us to feed millions of people. The world would not be the same without ammonia. For those of you who are not familiar with Jamie, he's a celebrated British chef. I like Jamie. He pushes fruits, he pushes vegetables. I like his theory. His approach is a little bit questionable. Not long ago, on a celebrated TV program, he introduced us to pink slime, which is neither pink nor slimy. It's meat that is taken off the bone after everything else has been cut off through a mechanical process. It is treated with ammonia gas to make sure that there are no bacteria, and he wanted to demonstrate the nefarious nature of ammonia as it is being used in this process. So he opens up a cupboard the back, and he takes out a bottle of ammonia, festooned with the skull and crossbone. I spent my life in chemistry, in many laboratories around the world. Never have I seen a bottle of ammonia that had the skull and crossbones on it. You will not find a bottle of ammonia that has the skull and crossbones. So that, of course, was made specifically for the show for the dramatic effect. And then Jamie goes and takes that bottle of ammonia and sloshes it all over the 
meet. This is not the way that it is done. Ammonia vapor is used in the process of producing that so-called pink slime. The way that Jamie portrayed this, it was certainly enough to frighten people, to have people demonstrate in the streets to stop pink slime. About one and a half million more cows are going to sacrifice their life annually to compensate for the meat that is not being taken off the bone. So you have to look at the whole situation. It is so easy to make people paranoid by essentially uh, misleading them by taking segments of information which aren't the totality, which are not, not completely correct. And we have to pursue this scientific literacy, educated, scientifically literate public. We have our limitations. The world is very complex. Those 60 million chemicals engage in all kinds of reactions. We try to find the answers, and that is just what we do through our office at McGill. Thank you. ABC's senior national correspondent Jim Avila set out to get answers. Now the latest on that ABC News investigation. The story we've been reporting over the past weeks took center stage. Live from KCAU TV in Sioux City, Iowa, this is Channel 9 Eyewitness News at 6. Good evening, I'm Tim Seaman. And I'm Jenna Renstrom. BPI leaders say it took them 30 years to build their business and only 30 days for ABC News to tear it down. Now, BPI makes lean, finely textured beef. It's a product that they say was the target of a misinformation campaign by ABC News. BPI filed its lawsuit in Union County, South Dakota court just this morning. At the heart of the lawsuit is ABC's continued use of the derogatory term pink slime, as well as what the company's lawyer says was a two-pronged attack to go after BPI's customers and consumers. Calling something pink slime clearly implies that the food product is unsafe for human consumption, it's not nutritious, and it's not safe. That is false. Slime is defined as something that is a disgusting, repulsive, vile, and filthy liquid. On March 7th, 2012, ABC made a conscious decision to begin a month-long disinformation campaign directed at BPI and with, against BPI's lean beef product. The lawsuit claims ABC made over 200 false and misleading statements, specifically that ABC falsely suggested to consumers that lean, finely textured beef is unsafe, not nutritious, and hidden in ground beef. In addition to consumers, Webb says ABC went after BPI's customers, the grocery store chains that carried ground beef with LFTB. That's actually attacking our business and our customers and destroying our relationship with those customers. ABC News responded to today's lawsuit with this comment, quote, the lawsuit is without merit, said Jeffrey Schneider, senior vice president of ABC News. We will contest it vigorously. <laughs> In our digital media world, there's more information, news and information available to the citizens of the world than ever before. How, how can citizens, how can consumers of news decide what is reliable and what's not? Where should they be going for information? These are all very complex issues that are becoming more complex as the proliferation of news and information continues. We're in an age of information overload. So much of what we watch, listen to, and read is mistaken, deceitful, or even dangerous. Yet you and I can take control and make media serve us, all of us, by being active consumers and participants.